In this video, we have the brand new color battle update dropping in Pet Simulator 99. So yeah, we have, it is about time to receive definitely one of the larger updates in the entire game. And yeah, I'm very excited to see what this update does have to offer. So I'll be back in a second once the update is out. Alright, here we are inside the update. We have the color world, new zones, new eggs, pets. We have Chroma Huge Pet. We have new contests. We have a color war, a hatching contest, and a new clan battle. We have a new color gift from the event. We have a bucket of paint. Not sure what that is. And then also a color machine. And then we also do have an exclusive art pack as well. So pretty interesting update, it seems like. We have the color battle located right here. And yeah, we also do have a new pack as well as you can see. And we do have a new gift called the color gift. I'm going to go ahead and get that, I guess. And I think that's the only thing new we do have inside of the shop is the art pack. So yeah, I'll go ahead and hop into the color battle and uh, see what this even has to offer for us. All right, so here we are. Let's see if we have to go ahead and break 200 breakables to get through this area first. So yeah, this may take a little bit. I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get through this. But yeah, I also thought we were going to have to like select a team or something, like a, a color for a team. But it seems like I haven't got that prompt we may get further into the areas though maybe we have to get to the end to even unlock it all right the second quest is to hatch 200 eggs pretty easy there we go and now we can move on to area two also we are only able to have 15 pets in this area so make sure you select your pets wisely because it seems like we do not have too many choices all right there we go area number three is now been unlocked i don't know how many areas we have we only have five so not that much so yeah hopefully we can actually get through this pretty quickly it hopefully shouldn't take too long but yeah, these quests are pretty easy they're pretty much just like copy and paste from the other quests that have been added in the game so yeah hopefully we can get through this a bit faster and hopefully it doesn't take as long all right there we go area number four and now we just need one more area and then we're already done so yeah we just need to break 500 breakables and then we've already reached the end so that's definitely pretty nice and we also do have another egg right here but i think i'm gonna save my coins or actually why not let's just see if i can get lucky on this here we go and okay i don't think we did get any better pets unfortunately all right and there we go we now purchased the last area and here we are so yeah this sign right here says spin the wheel for your color so now it's time to spin this wheel and i guess we're about to see what color we get and we got orange all right i'm not sure if i really wanted that but i also didn't really have a choice but it does say you can select a new team in 12 hours and 51 minutes that's pretty interesting i guess you can like hop to new teams if you want but yeah it's pretty cool i guess but yeah we have the orange leaderboard right here it's pretty much this work is working the same as the good versus evil event whereas you can see on the right you can actually hatch pets for points and then it tells you how many points you have and for the current winner of the team they do receive five buckets and the losers get one bucket so you still are getting something better than nothing and yeah we also do have a leaderboard as well for the most points hatch and the top 500 get the huge chroma swan in rainbow and the uh, top 5000 just get a normal version which is still pretty cool and yeah over here we have the color machine so we can actually craft gifts and okay this is actually pretty interesting so if you want to actually craft these color gifts you can use these paint buckets or what you can do is you can actually go ahead and just put in a, ba a paint bucket and you'll receive 10 clam points so yeah, this is actually pretty interesting. So it makes you have to decide if you want to use your paint bucket on the uh, color gift or for the clan points. So yeah, pretty interesting. And then if you also have 25 paint buckets, you can use it to stay on the current team. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Maybe you can, what you can do is you can keep spinning the wheel until you get on a color team that you are happy with. And then once you're on a team that you're happy with, you can just use these paint buckets to stay on the team. So yeah, definitely pretty interesting. Now like all you guys have to do is uh, hatch this egg for a bit to receive some more points. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this egg a few open see if we can get any good drops and yeah we're definitely getting some better pets than what we had before i guess we can also check out the stats once we're done so yeah there we go and now our best stat pet is at 5.5 thousand. so yeah definitely better than my previous pet at 330 for sure but yeah, now that we're inside this last area i'm gonna go and switch all of my enchants to these right here this is what i'm gonna be using to at least ground this area for a bit so yeah, let me go and throw down some of these hasty flags i guess and then some sprinklers as well or never mind we can't even place sprinklers inside of the last area but yeah we are able to see how many points we've actually opened up which is definitely pretty cool and then we also did get a brand new clan battle and this is the rave crab clan battle so yeah the objective for this one is to earn the most points with the color machines that's pretty interesting and then the winners or the top 10 clans do receive the huge rave crab which is actually a pretty cool pet as well as the hoverboard see honestly in my opinion i think this this huge pet or this like theme of this reward or clan battle is definitely a lot better than the previous ones so yeah good luck to those or those of you guys who can uh, win these huge pets and also, the paint buckets are untradeable, so you're not able to buy them in the plaza or any other way. The only way you can get them is just from the color battle. 
But yeah, this area does definitely look pretty cool, as you can see. Since I do have access to free cam, I can definitely see the area a lot better. And yeah, it looks pretty cool throughout all five of these areas. And yeah, I guess the only thing we have left is this art pack right here. And inside of it does have the huge chroma unicorn, the color gifts, obviously, the art booth, and then the art hoverboard as well. See, I'm not going to be buying it just because it's pretty similar to like all the other events. So I think I'm going to skip on this for the forever pack. But yeah, it's also pretty interesting. They went ahead and re-released chroma pets to the game. And yeah, I'm assuming these pets right here this uh tiger and the huge tiger you'll probably be able to hatch them in every single color variant that's pretty cool and yeah if you do actually hatch it you do receive 1.5 million points so it's still pretty good and yeah with the charged egg the egg does get pretty expensive pretty quickly however so you are gonna have to have to have a bit of coin saved up if you want to open up the egg for a long time but yeah the pets in this egg are still definitely very cool let's see if i can maybe get one of these tigers and all right never mind i guess we ran out of coins unfortunately and yeah the best pet we got is this rainbow abstract agony and only 758 exists currently but yeah it'll probably change as this update and as a lot more players start hatching these pets it would have definitely been cool to get like an exclusive chroma egg or i'm pretty sure they already released a chroma egg but maybe like another version of it with some different pets because having a chroma egg with like a bunch of different color variants for the uh, pets you can hatch is definitely very cool but i guess the pets aren't going to be entering the shop unless maybe next week we get a change i'm not sure but yeah as for right now they are not in the shop and yeah one more recommendation i can give you guys before i end off the video is make sure you guys are continuing to use your ultimate in this area because it will definitely help you break these breakables a lot faster but i guess i can also just go ahead and empower my enchants i guess that might be able to help out a little bit see let me go ahead and do this for a few of my books and uh, hopefully we can get some more buff all right there we go let me go ahead and swap out these books now and we can hopefully get a little bit of a better loadout and all right there we go we have everything now empowered so we hopefully should be doing or getting a little bit more damage and coin but yeah, i'm also not sure if you can even get these color gifts from like drops or something so i only got this one so far and i haven't been able to get any more from at least it dropping by itself but yeah, i guess we can go ahead and give it an open real quick and uh see what we get i doubt we'll be getting any good drops but let's see if we can maybe get some luck and uh okay never mind we did not get anything good but y'all yeah, i'll probably end up purchasing like a ton of the color gifts once they become more available and cheaper and also i want to go ahead and hop into the trading plaza real quick because i'm curious what these actual this new huge pet is all right i went ahead and looked through the entire terminal and for some reason i cannot not even find this tiger pet anywhere so yeah honestly it might just not be available currently and or at least no one's hatched it yet so yeah i guess the name of the, that pet is uh currently unknown maybe if i can go into the index okay yeah the pet is the huge chroma tiger and yeah it actually does not say the chances maybe you have to actually hatch the pet to see the chances i'm not exactly sure but here are the normal ones as well as you can see there's the yellow one the purple green red orange and blue but yeah i do have another 170 million coins and i think they actually went ahead and buffed the coins or maybe because i have my enchants empowered now i'm getting so many more coins and yeah i feel like i'm getting way more than previously i think i can actually go and just auto open the egg now and not even lose any coins so yeah that's definitely pretty nice now that i'm pretty sure i can now make more than what i would previously so yeah i should definitely be making enough to be able to open this egg up at least unless i go ahead and turn on the golden pets but i don't think i'm even gonna do that so yeah let's see if i can get any luck and get those tires before i actually continue i'm gonna go ahead and empower one of these lucky eggs enchants so i can actually go ahead and use it for opening up these eggs I guess I'll replace it with this treasure hunter. So there we go. So yeah, a little bit of extra egg luck. So maybe we can, now we can get the tiger. I don't know. We're going to have to keep opening and figure out. All right, I've been sitting here for a minute and I have not gotten a single tiger yet. But yeah, I have a slight feeling that honestly, the majority of the rest of this event might just be hatching because there really isn't going to be much else to do. But yeah, I guess we're going to have to continue crowding this event and uh, we'll see what happens as we get closer towards the end. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys do think of this update. I think it's definitely not a bad one. But honestly, I think they could have added a few more things to make it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, make sure you guys are on the lookout for the next video because it's going to be pretty helpful, hopefully. And yeah, hopefully some of the tips I can give you guys in future videos will be able to help you guys complete this event even faster. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're going to grow to 100k subs. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.